Howdy tubers, welcome back to another Zach Life Machine Shop episode. Nice rainy day Sunday today. You can see this old building so low. You know, I had a conversation with a friend of mine the other day. I was telling him that uh, I thought that buildings over the years sunk. And uh, he kind of thought that was dumb, but I really do. I think that over year, as the years go by, these old slabs and stuff actually do sink. You know, you look at the old uh, concrete here, how it's separated. You know, this half of this slab here is, you know, an inch lower than that. And they both had to sink quite a bit for this one to get an inch ahead. I got a little bit off a tangent there, but I want to build a cheap and simple little welding lathe. And what I'm talking about, I've got a little chuck here and some parts. I'm going to start putting this together. But as a device, you know, you can't weld a machine like this because you get weld BBs all over the ways and screw it up. But a thing that you can put a piece of shaft or something in and have it turn it real slow and weld it, you know, to build it up or whatever. I do a lot of that work, it seems like. And I've seen a few of these and, uh, and they work good. I'm not wanting an automatic feed or anything. I just want something that's really simple so that I can put something in and have it turn it, you know, at 10 RPMs or something. And uh, anyway, what I'm wanting to put together, I have got a, a little low speed high torque motor with a little Chinese controller and a chuck and I want to make it chain drive there's a couple pill block bearings over there I want to build a thing that's just sort of about one foot cubed if you would the sort of houses all this you can just pick it up and carry it not not be super heavy and uh, you could just set it on your welding table and if you want to weld on something that's pretty long you can just build a yoke or maybe even like a car jack stand or something at the other end for the other end to turn on um, got an old piece of some kind of rod there i'm going to bring it over here and cut it up and uh let's see if we can throw something together i had some people talking about the oil that i put in this i'm sure this originally would have had a light oil uh, not anything like this but i really do bet that originally it was a an oil it wasn't a water soluble uh coolant water oil soluble coolant i don't know when they started making those but i feel like I feel like it was probably later. <clears throat> and the other reason that I don't want a an old soluble water coolant, whatever you call it, I don't see exactly what the term is, is that it, I, don't, I don't have a heater up here and it freezes. And I don't want to have water in this machine because it would, it would freeze and bust. I'm going to take zero uh, amount of time or effort to try to make this thing precise or nice or anything else. I just want something hacked out that'll work and it'll work well for what I'm wanting to do. I think it must be bent. Okay, this should line, uh, that lip should square this up pretty good. Uh, I'm gonna crank the welder up and put a big tack on then we'll roll it and see how straight it is. Love that thing. It looks pretty straight to me. I'm gonna go ahead and, I guess, weld it up. All right, see if we can press these bearings on here. Break 
Oh, dang. I just figured it out. It had the, the set screws weren't screwed all the way out. Hang on. cut out a piece of half inch plate and board it will go over that and I'm gonna lay this on there and weld it and then chuck this up face it cut this step in it Okay, got this done, it looks good. I actually pulled the threads out of one of these holes. And so I drilled it all out, tapped it 3 8 uh, 16. I just gotta get a bolt to put in it. This will run true and straight. I gotta wait till the other bearing gets. I left my GoPro up there at the machine shop yesterday and I wanna work on this this morning. It's nearly six o'clock. I woke up kinda early and I'm gonna get something done. And I'm not going to go get it. So anyway, all I'm going to do, uh, this is going to be the top where the two pillow block bearings mount. I'm going to come off this with some angle iron. Um, and I want to throw it together. i got some angle iron. This will be real simple. I'll show you when I get it. All right, here's what I'm thinking. It's nice and ugly. But uh, obviously, I'm waiting on a bearing. Let's see if I can do this one-handed. It's going to do something just like that. And then this motor will fit right here and then I'll drill four holes and the motor will mount right there. Those didn't come out from, eh, not too far off, a little bit. Um, and I got to take a torch. I got to sort of notch this out where the motor will go in there, but it'll fit, fit right in there. I'm gonna probably take some sheet metal and kind of put over that so to keep sparks from getting on the motor. Mount the little controller on the back. I think it'll work. Got it all built before daylight. Got her done in 35 minutes. So I really don't remember where I left off. It's been a week or so ago. Um, I got the bolt, these pillow blocks bolted down. I drilled four holes them out of the motor. And then uh, I put this on the shaft and I had to go to tractor supply and get a piece of chain. I ordered some off flea bay and I got lost. Uh, and I had to ugly torch you back out here for the motor. I had originally thought this motor was going to fit in there, but it didn't quite, which is dumb. I should have should have made that just a little bit wider. So the next problem is I have got to rig up a system to transfer uh, my welding current to this piece of shaft. And what I'm thinking I'm going to do, and this may be a total flop, but what I'm thinking I'm going to do is I'm just going to take a piece of flat bar, something like this, and I'm going to take like maybe three pieces and I'm going to just weld them on on the end here and I'm thinking maybe I can bend them up put a kink in them to where they push up against this bar and I'll get enough current you know travel through from this bar to the uh, this piece of shaft if this doesn't work I may have to either put a bolt over here like to push up harder this is what I got this will be real simple I'm gonna knock this out real fast I just got this drove in there, but I'm going to take and get some long bolts because the thread needs to be, the bolts aren't that long, but they need to be threaded all the way. Or I can just use them like a, like a jam nut or whatever and tighten them up. Uh, and it's got a pretty good, uh, pretty good wear pattern on this, like it's got a good force. I think this is going to work great. Um, well, there's a little bit cold and everything, but I mean, not, you know, the weld looks terrible, but as far as this goes, the machine did what I wanted it to do. And I should be able to just pick it up and carry it around and set it wherever. 
the only other thing I've got to do is I've got to get a box this the holes in this front of this are actually the same screw spacing as like a plug-in or a light switch but it's a little bit wider than a regular box you anyway, I may have to go get a couple of boxes and sort of make one or something but I was planning on just welding a box right here and putting that controller on it and then it's got a clockwise counterclockwise pin out on the back of it and I'll be able to mount a toggle switch like forward and reverse with a little a little pigtail plug where I was going to put a foot switch so when you're welding you can just step on the switch to make it go and you know let up or whatever and then of course adjust your speed depending on you know how fast you need to go so I know this was a really thrown together video but kind of wanted to show you something I was throwing together here you know I probably got this built for less than let me think a minute like I probably got about $225 in it or something like that it was not didn't cost me much money maybe about 200 um, but you know it's going to work really well I do a lot of this and you know my, my plan was to I'm building another another welding bench it's going to go up at a machine shop but it's about this big it's three by five I'm not sure exactly what size this is I don't ever get to use this as a welding bench because it always looks just like this it's more it's used more as an anvil i should say than anything but my, my plan kind of was if i have something that's longer than a foot or so i could just set this on a table and then take a jack stand or something and, and have a you know if i got a big piece of shaft obviously if you put a big heavy piece of shaft in this it would tilt it forward uh, but it should be you know plenty stout to turn a big heavy piece of shaft and i think like i say you could just set it on an automotive jack right here is where the gopro ran out of battery appreciate you watching and i will catch you on the next one <laughs>